Mississippi has always been deeply rooted in forestry with over half the state's land is in forest. Well, the forest industry is a precious asset in Mississippi and it contributes billions to our state's economy. It's important to promote education on how to conserve this resource. With that in mind, the Mississippi Forestry Commission created the Teachers Conservation Workshops. In a period of one week, teachers from around the state are educated about all the aspects of Mississippi forestry and how to teach resource conservation to their students. Farm Week's Amy Taylor first brought us this story in 2013. At the Teachers Conservation Workshops conducted by the Mississippi Forestry Association, it would be difficult to briefly summarize all there is to learn. To accommodate teachers from the northern and southern ends of the state, two separate workshops are held, one at Northeast Mississippi Community College in Boonville and another at Jones County Junior College in Ellisville. Mississippi State University Extension Service Forester Butch Bailey says educators, professionals, and personnel from MFA MSU Extension Service and Mississippi Forestry Commission were on hand to teach participants about all things forestry. The Teachers Conservation Workshop is a week-long educational program that the Mississippi Forestry Association has been conducting for 50 years. This is our 50th anniversary. We're pretty proud of that. And what we do is we take a group of about 20, 25 teachers every year and we spend one week teaching them everything we possibly can about forestry in Mississippi, from nurseries to um, the various management regimes from private landowners to public landowners to big industry. Additionally, Bailey says the teachers visited large logging and lumber mills, sawmills, and national and state forests, as well as privately owned forests. They got an inside look at Mississippi forestry from tree planting to harvesting to safety procedures used at the various facilities. Soil variety, quality, and erosion were also discussed. First grade teacher Amy Taylor explains some of the activities at TCW. We did measurement and evaluation and we determined the diameter of trees and how many logs we can get from the trees. To, or to see how many boards we can get from a log. We did some leaf tree identification. Um, we've learned to um, tell the different types of trees um, according to their leaves, their bark, um, their fruit. We've played some, a game this morning with the tree identification that um, we can use um, to incorporate into our classrooms. In addition, Taylor says she has an even greater appreciation for forestry and wildlife and explains how TCW will help her educate her students. I can identify trees for them, show them ways to identify trees, um, the invertebrates that we found in the river, the creek, um, and also to talk about the conservation and how that's important for that they take care of it as well because if they don't take care of it, it won't be here later on. Furthermore, Taylor says she and fellow participants were pleased to learn about the careful conservation steps Mississippi foresters take, such as planting approximately six trees for every tree that's cut and making sure to utilize all parts of the tree. In addition to outdoor and hands-on activities, classroom sessions offered an array of interesting topics discussing various wildlife species and habitats, water quality, testing the strength of wood, and even the different sizes of pine cones. Additionally, Extension Forestry Professor Dr. Glenn Hughes discusses how Project Learning Tree was used to help teach some of the workshop sessions. Project Learning Tree is a uh, uh, program that's developed by an organization called the American Forest Foundation, and Project Learning Tree is an environmental education program. Uh, they, they have a, a really nice series of booklets that they develop, books that they develop for teachers that have practical exercises that teachers can take, can utilize in their classroom. Dr. Hughes says you wouldn't expect to be able to teach math, social studies, and human sciences using forestry, but Project Learning Tree makes that possible through activities offered on kindergarten through 12th grade levels. Additionally, Dr. Hughes and Butch Bailey elaborate more on why it's important to teach forestry and resource conservation in schools. Forestry and forest products are a significant part of the economy of the state, uh, in excess of $10 billion per, uh, per year for the state of Mississippi. So it's a tremendous part of our economy. And it's part of the, the, uh, the teacher, it affects the teachers directly and indirectly because we have 16th section lands and the revenue from timber, for example, on 16th section lands 
goes directly to the uh, to the school system. Hey, and when you're talking about Mississippi history, it is forestry, or at least logging and, and timber harvest. That's that's why Mississippi was settled. It's most of us who live in Mississippi now are here because our ancestors were in some way connected to the timber industry. Furthermore, educators at the Teachers Conservation Workshop recognize the priority of explaining the roles of various forestry-related organizations and institutes. For example, Mississippi Forestry Association Program and Event Coordinator Elena Pope says MFA is often confused with Mississippi Forestry Commission. The Mississippi Forestry Commission is your state agency headed by the state forester and they have county offices throughout Mississippi so you'll hear about your county forester or your service forester. The Mississippi Forestry Association is a membership organization so if you want to be a part of MFA we tell you what your dues would be and a private landowner does not pay the same dues as a large company would pay. In addition, Pope explains one of the perks of being a member of the Mississippi Forestry Association. We are there to represent them anytime that there's a, a bill coming up, whether it's something we need to support or not support. And we have a committee that meets to, that makes the decision of which bills we're supporting. Our members receive a weekly legislative bulletin during the legislative session and so they are always the first to know about these issues and we send it out on Friday afternoon after the legislature convenes. Another benefit for MFA members is receiving the quarterly newsletter addressing current forestry issues and containing articles that feature Mississippi State University forestry educators, MFA members, and others in forestry. Along with 50 years of teachers conservation workshops, Mississippi Forestry Association is also celebrating its 75th year in existence and this is the 25th year since Project Learning Tree began. As for participants reactions to TCW, Butch Bailey says the remarks are excellent. The response we get from the participants, from the teachers about TCW is uniformly positive. Uh, it's glowing. One of my jobs with TCW is compiling the evaluations that we get after each workshop. And I can tell you that, you know, without exception, there are just no negative comments. So we get comments, teachers saying it's, it's the best continuing education workshop they've ever done. They're so glad they had no idea how important forestry was, and those are the ones that are really gratifying. If I teach an adult, that's a good thing, but if you can teach a teacher about forestry, well, you've just multiplied your efforts exponentially. Following five decades of successful teacher conservation workshops, participants and educators believe that through continuous efforts in resource conservation, Mississippi forestry will be well prepared to serve future generations. I'm Amy Taylor reporting. And you can watch this story again on the Teachers Conservation Workshop on our Farm Week website, Facebook page, or YouTube. The website address is farmweek.msucares.com. There are three workshops this year. The South one has already taken place. It was June 7th through the 12th at Jones County Junior College in Ellisville. The North workshop starts this Sunday, June 21st, and runs through Friday, June 26th. The location is the Northeast Mississippi Community College at Boonville. And then the Metro Area Workshop runs from July 14th through the 16th at the Mississippi Ag and Forestry Museum in Jackson. We'll have a link and a telephone number where you can register with the Mississippi Forestry Association. The cost is $115, and if you don't go this year, you need to put it on your calendar for next year. And Leighton, of course, that story was done back in 2013, so now this is the 52nd year They've added that Metro workshop and they wrapped it around a weekend once again trying to fit into people's schedules that maybe didn't want to be gone you know, during the week but maybe can work a, a long weekend in working mm -hmm. on this. But uh, all I can say is uh, you know, just outstanding and there's more than forestry. There's all sorts of wildlife. Yeah. You know, Mississippi State is sending its, its wildlife uh, And it just spreads a conservation out. message to that younger generation hands on. And when it's hands on the teacher's gonna be more excited as well.